Yo, what is going on guys? It is Wrath here and today we're going to be talking about Borderlands 1 Remastered and recently the Borderlands community which is including me and Morning After Kill and a lot of other people have been talking about Borderlands 1 Remastered and the Borderlands series is absolutely fantastic but the original game does lack a few features that would make the game so much more enjoyable to play and hopefully we're trying to make Gearbox actually make Borderlands 1 Remastered and hopefully if that happens we don't really want to see too much of a change but we want to add some new features so today we're going to be talking about five features but they're not in order so let's get on with the first feature so this first feature is to auto pick up money and ammo so when you walk over it you're like a big magnet now in Borderlands 1 they wanted you to literally be an explorer and pick up absolutely everything from weapons, ammo and money that's lying on the ground. Now this would help you a lot in fights so you don't have to run around trying to pick up ammo and getting killed in the process. Now this feature was implemented in Borderlands 2 and I feel like it is kind of like a game breaking thing because in Borderlands 1 you have to run around, explore absolutely everywhere to get ammo and money. Now in Borderlands 2 you literally just have to walk over it. So the time to like collect things is so much shorter in Borderlands 2, which I feel makes the game more enjoyable. So speaking of exploring and getting killed, being able to move and fight for your life is so important in Borderlands 2 in the pre-sequel. I don't think people respect that actual feature at all. Like I feel it's so important because in Borderlands 1, as soon as you're down, you cannot move and the enemy runs away from you. It's so frustrating when that happens over and over and over again. Borderlands 2 pre-sequel, you can literally scooch over to the enemy and kill them. So basically this next feature is really game breaking. It is to reset playthrough 2.5. So like in Borderlands 2, you can have a player skill based playthrough, which means the enemies are tougher and the weapons are more relevant. So this would really help because Borderlands 1 damage scaling is so good. Like the weapons versus enemies are balanced very well. And this would also make the game so much more enjoyable because there's not really much of an end game. You can't really do much at the end of the game at all in Borderlands 1. So resetting the playthrough 2.5 would be so much better. We want an FOV slider. Seriously. Even in the PC version in 2009 didn't have an FOV slider. You literally had to edit the game files to have a certain FOV which then resets if you do certain actions. Console players can also have an FOV slider, which was added in Borderlands Handsome Collection Edition on PS4. So we really want an FOV slider. It's seriously so helpful. So the final feature. Now a lot of people have been asking for this and it's so simple. It's a mini map. Now a mini map is so helpful if you haven't played the game at all or for very long. The addition of a mini map would help tremendously because some of the destinations in the game may be confusing to get to or you may become disorientated. Now what do you guys think about the addition of these features and what do you think needs to be added to Borderlands 1 Remastered? Leave your comments down below because I am Wrath and I will see you in another video. Peace.